Well, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, uh, I'm Shengen Fan, uh, Director General of International Food Policy Research Institute. Welcome, welcome everybody to uh, this policy seminar. Uh, policymakers responses to food price crisis results from a 14 country political economy study. Uh, as you know, in the last five years, we have experienced as at least three rounds of global food price crisis started in uh, 2008. And uh, many reasons contributed to uh, that crisis. Um, increased energy prices, uh, bad weathers, uh, but meantime, many other actions such as um, panic purchases, export bans, and many countries responded to uh, the higher food prices differently, including using um, subsidies to protect the poor, including providing um, subsidies or investment to support uh, agricultural research, irrigation, uh, rural infrastructure. But we never try to understand why uh, policymakers respond differently in different countries. And this book uh, has addressed some of the issues. So the presenter will be uh, a Pierre Binster Anderson. So there is no need of introduction of Pierre. He was director general here from 1992 uh, to 2002, so 10 years. When he uh, was at IPRI, uh, he had several big legacies, as I can remember. Uh, one is uh, the 2020 initiative. So now, after more than almost 10 years, we are going to have the six or well, sixth meetings very soon, or six conference very soon. And Pear also is um, World Food Prize laureate, receiving World Food Prize in 2001. Okay, if I remember correctly, yes. And also he hired me. I still remember in February. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I didn't say it's a legacy. Though. Um, in 1995, February, so I came here and I gave a talk here. Pear, give me five or ten minutes interview. The first question he asked is, are you an econometrician or are you a development economist? So I was puzzled a little bit. <laughs> what should be my answer, the best answer, so I can secure my job? <laughs> so I was sort of trying to um, balance. I said, well, I'm a development economist, but in the meantime, I use econometrics as a tool. And so you need a board. So I hope um, today you still can use that judgment, econometrics. Uh, as well as a good understanding about it and development. Now this book um, has many chapters contributed by so many people. Uh, I read it very briefly in the introduction. So and lots of insights and lots of um, analysis is evidence-based. Um, I really hope that through, uh, through his um, presentation, we'll have a much better understanding why policymakers continue to make certain policies Sometimes they're they are not ideal, or uh, even against the mainstream. And the other time, uh, they make the right decision. So we, need, we really needed to dip in to understand this process. So it pre in its new strategy, we really try to understand uh, the food, food policy making process uh, in different countries. So Pierre, uh, you will give a very good start to really introduce this subject to everybody. Uh, Pierre, you have 30 to 35 minutes your presentation right after that uh, we will open for discussion hopefully we can end it by five o'clock so right after pairs of right after this seminar so you are welcome to a reception to honor a uh, pair pair will retire very soon in a month or two so he's still struggling where he's going to be based u.s or, or denmark um, but there's a chance for us to say goodbye to pair uh, to celebrate his career, successful career for the last 40 years. Uh, so all of you are welcome. Thank you, Pierre. You have uh, 30 to 35 minutes. Mm -hmm.